हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर परफॉर्मिंग द एक्सपेरिमेंट व्हिच इज मेजरमेंट ऑफ डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट ऑफ सॉलिड्स एंड लिक्विड वी कैन मेजर बोथ सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट बट हियर वी आर ओनली परफॉर्मिंग द मेजरमेंट ऑफ डायलेक्ट्रिक कांस्टेंट ऑफ सॉलिड्स सो दिस इज द एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप इन विच दिस इज डिजिटल कैपेसिटेंस मेजरमेंट एंड हेयर देर आर टू कैपेसिटर टू पैरल प्लेट कैपेसिटर इन विच This is small, whose diameter is 10 mm, and this is big, which is whose diameter is 50 mm. So here you can see there is two buyer. One is for uh, big, uh, one is for large capacitor, and second is for small capacitor. So um, this is connected outside the terminal of this uh, dielectric constant measurement, in from which we can measure capacitance. So. Uh, Uh, principal uh, you have to read your principal of this uh, working working principal of this experiment this is your task mm, here we are only explain the process of uh, finding the uh, capacitance so here the, the, there are two places in which we can we can put a hair plate then measure the capacitance from here so you can see here uh, here we have to put the glass plate in between these parallel plate capacitor and measure the capacitance from here so you can see here the value of capacitance is 57.12 now there is your observation table in which you have to take reading of different different materials so this is the dielectric constant for glass plate bakelite plate barium titanate and lead zirconate titanate so first of all we have to measure the dielectric uh, capacitance of glass plate so you have to write here what is the value 57.11 picofarad how much picofarad now next we have to change our sample and uh, we have to put here bakelite plate and now take measurements you can see from this knob we can put it outside then insert it then again tight the knob and adjust your uh, knob like that uh, it is touch it touch the surface of both capacitors and don't get tight only slight it had it have to touch surface so okay you can see here what's the reading is coming Forty six point three, or forty six point two, forty six point zero six. Okay. Here the we have to write this reading on here. So for bakelite plate, this is forty six point zero six. Now next we have to measure uh, the capacitance value for a uh, small size uh, crystals or small size material like um, barium titanate and lead zirconate. so we have to change our connection uh, and we uh, insert next knob here this is your barium titanate sample uh, which we insert here you can see like that and tight the knob not get too much tight uh, only uh, when surface its surface is touched to the sample okay so you can see the reading is 409 409.5 now we can note down for which material barium titanate how much 409.55 okay next uh, we have to put our sample pgt which is lead zirconate titanate open it anti clockwise then out this sample and insert a new sample which is pgt and again rotate the knob clockwise so here you can see the capacitance is 426.7 or 426.5 so you have to note down it so this is all your experiment 
now next part uh, which is for calculation so you have to do your calculation from the formula which is uh, you can see here c equals to kappa epsilon 0 a by d farad from uh, this is the uh, capacitance of parallel plate capacitor and you have to read it in class 12th the parallel plate capacitor so this is the capacitance of parallel plate and you can see here also these are the parallel plate okay now you now your next uh, uh, task is to find out uh, the um, dielectric constant for different materials so you have to note down your uh, capacitance value uh, for glass plate bakelite and then barium titanate and then lead zirconate you have a formula c equals to uh, sorry kappa equals to c into d so you have a value of c and d is and d is what thickness of sample which is given in your manual thickness of sample okay and uh, epsilon 0 is which is a uh, relative permittivity so you have you find out the standard value and a is the area of your sample so note down this part and find out the capacitance this is your task okay thank you